What's going on, everybody? Canuck here, and we are back. I want to try to kickstart the channel again with a little more PGA 2K23 content. And I've been on a bit of a hiatus, just kind of doing some other things. Life's been busy, obviously, uh, but I've also been waiting. It's It's been about a little over two months since the release of 2K23. And even though the designer did launch with some bugs, still has a few bugs, but it is a lot better than when it started. And it has given some designers some time to build courses from scratch. And now we're starting to see some really, really nice ones emerge. So I want to start spotlighting some of those courses on a little bit more of a regular basis. So usually courses catch my eye either on Twitter or over on the TGC Tours forums. So that's usually how uh, I catch uh, awesome looking courses. You don't have to tag me or anything. I'm always just looking around and course catches my eye. I'm ready to give it a run. And this one caught my eye a couple weeks ago. Uh, this one's called Little Pain Walk. This is from CG444. This course, based on his uh, forum post over on TGC Tours, it is very heavily inspired by Stream Song Resort in Florida. That was enough for me because I absolutely love that resort. That is a bucket list place for me to go play for sure. So we're going to give this a go and see how she plays. All righty. We're back, everybody. We are back. Okay, so we're just going to do a little quick fly around here. See what we've got here. So yeah, lots of really nice... Uh, yeah, it's in the sand dunes here. I really like the color. The textures are really, really solid here. So um, great looking plot of land here. And you can see kind of like the, the course just kind of weaves itself through these big dunes here. So... Uh, not a lot of elevation to it, but, you know, that's kind of expected. But it looks uh, it looks phenomenal from outside. And we got a nice little clubhouse here. Basic, but I'm all right with that. Really nice little clubhouse here. Awesome. All right, let's get it going here. Let's get it going. So this is a course where I feel like I'm either going to be on the fairway or I'm going to be in the sand. And I am playing on Master Difficulty. I have not played this game a lot. But uh, we're going to try to see if we can throw up a decent round here today. All right. So he did say there were a lot of humps and bumps here. And I am seeing that for sure. Um, we're we're going to have to see how the greens play. So I haven't played these courses yet. They catch my eye. You're getting me on a very first playthrough, so... I will obviously outline, as well as things I like, things I think need work as well. So, And I do think a big thing that uh, designers really need to start getting a grasp on, and it has been mentioned in the community over the last little bit, is uh, is having to do with greens. Uh, with the TGC Tours switching to that default golf ball, um, there's a lot more rollout. So the kind of wild... Um, contours you can make on the greens in 2k21 not nah, doesn't fly as well here in in 2k23 so uh you just got to be careful um and we'll see i mean the, these slopes are gonna be a little bit on the extreme side so we'll, we'll see how these play but so far so good this is gonna be a bit of an interesting one so it looks like i kind of want to play it to the left and see if it it uh makes its way down uh, yeah, I could see being some tough pins here. I hit that exactly where I wanted it, but I think I've hit it too long. Gonna catch the slope. Oh, this actually might be okay, because there's a back slope here, too. I think I've hit it exactly where I wanted it. Look at that shot. Never mind, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you play the second hole here. Boom. We'll take that. Okay. On to the third. I love, 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 love the tee shot here. That's a very solid look. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of contouring here. And uh, this is a great tee shot. You gotta be on the right part of the fairway, that's for sure. We pulled it a bit. We're off to the left. That's not too bad. Looks like a fairly inviting green. Very big green. But yeah, we, again, it's in a lot of one where you got to be on the right slopes. So um, you really, really got to be accurate. 
We actually got a long shot in here, too. Yeah, I mean, I think that is a little bit extreme here. Like, it's not really allowing much rollout at all. Um, this is a bit... This this green would have flown in 2021. I don't... I think this is a bit extreme here, I think. In 23. It's just with the rollout. But, hey, if we hit a good shot, it'll be... I won't be complaining. We're right at the pin here. We're a little long, though. It's going to catch one of these slopes. Just hold on a little bit. Ooh, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh. Crushing it here early. Three under through three. All right, as we head to another par four. Ooh, so... I like this tee shot. I mean, you can go for it, but it really closes up there. And we've got a tailwind. I think the safe play is probably to hit the three wood, it looks like. And we're going to do that. And we have crushed it. That is a very nicely hit. Okay, a little wedge in. You know, I'm, I'm okay with slopes like this with if i got like a pitching wedge in, because... You'd expect, hopefully, you're, you're dialed in, but again, those slopes are pretty extreme, so if I'm on the wrong, uh, I'm on the wrong tier here, if I catch that front slope, I am gone. You don't want to be gone. Oh, that needs to go. Big bounce. Stay there, please. That's gone. No. <laughs> there she goes. So th this should... Hopefully, just stay on the green. Uh, see, that's a little, I think, a little bit too penalizing, but. Yeah, I, I think maybe the greens are a tad overcooked. But I, I could see this being an absolute nightmare and anything more than like 10 mile an hour winds. But definitely a challenge. Definitely a challenge. Good challenging course for sure. All right, 374 here. We're going to play up the left side. Should leave us just a little pitch in. Uh, not too long. Perfect. All right. Really nice planting here. It, it's simple, just kind of the bushes and the shrubs, kind of giving that um, dunesy, kind of swampy, I guess, stream song feel, I guess, to it. I think he's pulled it off really nicely. Oh, I don't mind this. I don't mind this. What a golf shot. Ooh. We'll tap in bird for there. We are four under here through five holes. Not a bad start. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, we've got a mo This is 242 to the front. Wow. And uh, I'm kind of right in between. Even a free iron here, if I roll it up, it's a bit too much of an uphill, so I don't think I'm going to get it. And there's not really any helping slopes unless I catch this back slope here. Oof. Yeah, we're kind of right in between. We're going to have to hit a three wood. Ah, uh, it's got a kick. We're going to be left with a monster putt. Absolute monster putt. 65 feet. We're going to play it quite a bit high here. Up the right side. Let her funnel down. We hit the hill. Now it's really picking up speed. Uh, whoa, okay, okay, okay. All right. We can live with that. Get in there. Big par save. Big, big par save. I'll take that. All right, looks like our first par five here at Little Payne Walk. Wide open. Again, really nice tee shot. He's done a great job with the contour in here. Oh. 
That is a terrible swing. Luckily, it is a very wide fairway, so we're going to get away with it. It'll leave us a monster shot in. As you can see, we do not want to be on this side of the fairway, because now we've got essentially no shot in, and I would have loved maybe a slope over here. Yeah, like this is a little too punishing, I think, as well. I mean, trying to hit it in two. I'm on the right. I'm on the wrong side. I get it. Um, yeah, there's, there's not a lot of helping slopes here. We talk about kind of helping and hindering slopes. Uh, I'd like to see a few more helpful ones, but it is what it is. I put myself in a bad position. I pay for it, so I recognize that. And I hit a terrible golf shot, so. Oh, boy. Yeah, that is, whoa, stop. No. Gonna end up in the sand. So you, you, there's no there's no uh, rough here to slow anything down. So like I said, you're either on the fairway, or you are a goodbye in the sand. Beautiful. Nice shot out. There we go. Clean it up for. Well, actually, that was a birdie, so it wasn't too difficult at all. Cruising along here. I gotta not play this game. Seems like when I the less I play it, the better I better I play. But now that I've said it, I've jinxed myself and probably won't birdie another hole. This is a monster. 516 yard par four. It looks like we kinda wanna play up the left side here. As the fairway seems to camber from right to left a little bit. That's about where we wanna be. All right, that's still leaving us a 180 in. And again, he is requiring a lot of precision. Ah. Well, I might get a little bump here. No. Ah. All right. It's just a poor shot by me. Oh, 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 tracking, get in the hole. Oh, it was looking good for, I'd say, 93% of that putt. That's all right. That's all right. It's all a par. As we head to the ninth, getting ready to make the turn. Oh, my God, he's put two just massive par fours back to back. This one's even longer at 531. Yeah, so this is definitely a... Uh, a tough course. It is a long course here, too. We're going up the right side. This is dangerous. We've actually found a little bit of heavy rough. Okay. Not an overly difficult green here. Fairly simple. Yeah, okay. I've got nothing, so I think we're just going to try to knock it up somewhere close to the green. Ooh. Caught a funny slope there. Still in the rough. We have to be a little careful here. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. Boom. All right. Clean it up for a 30. On the front nine, five birdies. We started out hot. We cooled down a little bit, but fairly clean so far. Enjoying this course. Oh. So it looks like we've got a shared fairway here. I think this is a shared fairway. I'm trying to figure out what this green is for here. I don't know, actually. I don't know. If it was a real course, get out your hard hat if we're sharing a fairway. I don't know how I feel about shared fairways, to be honest. This is a purely just an opinion of mine. Like, I would find this to be abs an absolute nightmare on a real-life course. Imagine all the injuries. <laughs> but then again, I do not know where that green is going. So I, I do think it is here. It's just a little bit weird how the green extends there. Or the fairway extends there, I mean. 
All right, what do we got here? Not bad. So we hit a little wedge in. Bit of a breaker here, but not a problem. As we're back to the birdies. All right, we head to 11. 560 yard par 5. Tricky little bunker right in the middle. That's causing a few issues. So it seems like the left, with that pin, the left side is the play, just angle wise. But the right gives us more space. But again, we are sacrificing green angle. But that's a that's a textbook option. And we aim right and end up putting it left. So hey, we won't complain. We won't complain. Oh, wow. Again, it's it's a long, somewhat wide green, but these slopes, just like this slope, if you catch this slope, you're hitting that slope too, which kind of sucks. Um, again, I just think there's too much roll right now that I think these probably could have been toned down significantly, but... I think it'll be a thing designers will will get the hang of. Um, B101, by the way, put out a really good video on greens. I think a couple days ago. Um, just kind of outlining what designers need to really be looking for. Because the physics of the greens are a lot different. I'm talking about greens a lot in this playthrough. But uh, this is a good starting example. Um, of how I think it's a great course. I just think... You know, these are greens that would have worked really well in 21. If this is a downhill, like, I'm screwed. I, there's no way I'm stopping that. And that's gone. With no rough, it makes it even more penalizing. So. It also wasn't a great golf shot. I also acknowledge that. Let's tab in for par. I mean, I'm 6 under through 10, well, 11. Well, I don't know why I'm complaining, but... Oof. Again, it is... Well, this one, again, has a bit of a helping slope here. I could not imagine a pin up there would be... I'm sure he has a pin up there. Uh, that would be absolutely terrible, but... Right, this is pretty good. Eh, a little long. I'm back a bit. Not quite. I love me some backstops. Backstops are fun. Oh, I missed one. And bye-bye. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! We are going to take our first bogey here on the par 3 12th. And we hit to another par 5. And wow. <laughs> You look at the length on this one, 647 yards. This is a pure three shot R5. It might be four shots now. That is a terrible swing. As the uh, swing's getting a lot worse, so we're still 407 yards out. We're just going to hack it out as best we can. Swing's starting to fail me a bit. We still have 225 in. I like that little uh, aiming post here. Nice little touch. As we're basically making a blind approach. I do love that dune in front of the screen here. So, these are kind of double helping slopes here, which are kind of nice. Kind of funnel it in there. And we've hooked it. Well, we might get a bounce. Thought it was going to kick pretty hard right. It might catch this back slope and get into this little valley. Not quite. Go, 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 go. No. Pretty poor putt there. Alright. R on 13. As we head to another beautiful par 3, 205 yards. That pin is a bit tucked, in my opinion. 
I mean, there's not really even any place before the green to kind of bounce it up there. Yes, maybe you could use this slope here. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could use that slope now that I think about it. Play up, play this way, and but yeah, going for it is like just going right at it is death. So yeah, I think we'll try to play here, assuming this is how the designer intended it. Just wondering, one eighty is the play. Eighty might be a bit short. I hit it perfect, and I got the one hundred four little power boost. So we gotta need a big bounce though. We did. We got one. It just gets onto the green. I think we had the right idea there. I think we had the right idea for sure. Oh, I've hit this pretty hard. That's got to hit the hole. Uh, nope, not quite. All right, tapping it. Enjoying this course immensely. All right, head to 15. A little water in play here. This is... Uh, that is a brutal green. An absolute just like tabletop green there. Going for it is pointless. Uh, so yeah, we're going to make the safe play. I'm just going to hit a little three wood. Put it in position. And give ourselves a little pitch. 67 yards. Again, we got to be very accurate here. That leak and left. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ah. Tap it in. Just didn't hit a very good second shot there. All right, three holes left. Let's see what this finish does. Oh, what's this? Is this the road in or something? It's a little touch. I haven't mentioned too much about the aesthetics of this course, but it, it is beautiful. Like like I said, the dunes are, are, are lovely. I like the low lighting here, the textures he's done a great job with. Um, it's a really... It, it's a tricky look to pull off, and I, I feel like he's pulled it off very well. Okay, we got... <laughs> this is a bit of a i think we're gonna hit a high lob into here we don't really want not, not much to work with here so try to hit a high one in and hopefully it stops Ooh, i'm a bit short though uh no no ah. again poor execution not quite tap in for our par Man, we were 500 at the turn, right? And then we've just stopped making any sort of birdies. All right, a little micro par three here. Only 115 yards from the tips. Big inviting green, but lots of interesting slopes here. Hmm, don't really have a club here. We're going to have to hit a pretty hard sand wedge. We got the 103 power. This might be pretty good. It's got to get over this little slope. Big bounce. There it is. Oh my goodness, what a shot. There we go. Beautiful golf shot there. Tap in for finally a birdie. First one since the 10th. And we get ready to finish off at the home hole, the 18th. Nice wide, wide fairway here, but it narrows significantly. And then we got a second shot. It looks like over some water. Oh, it's going to catch this slope. Sit down. Just fine. Okay, oof. <laughs> well, again, it kind of makes a little bit of a dome here, so I've got a bit of help at the back. Can I make it here? I think with my little overswing and a bit of a tailwind, this should make it. If I hit it well. We got a 106 power there. I reached back a bit for that one. It might catch this slope and funnel in a little bit. That's not bad. It gives us a look at Eagle. Let's see if we can finish off on a excellent note here. I think I played too much break. I did. All right. 
Oh, I barely made the birdie, but we did. And that is a seven under 64 at Little Payne Walk. Uh, so just to kind of wrap up, I did very much enjoy this course. Um, great look. Uh, just some some really, really fun golf shots. Uh, the greens were, again, kind of the real talking point that I talked about a lot in this video. And uh, a little overdone, but some some were great. Some played really nicely, but some, I think, just a little overdone with the red slopes. But otherwise, not too bad at all. So uh, thank you very much for the playthrough. Let me know if you guys enjoy these. If you watch these, uh, I will take any and all criticism. So it's good to be back. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next video.